Welcome to the Bobby Wallace Show. Here are your hosts, Coach Bobby Wallace and Jeff Hodges. Welcome to Week 7 of the Bobby Wallace Show. We're here at Brawley Stadium where the UNA Lions just pulled out another thrilling 31-28 win over West Georgia. Coach Wallace, the Gulf South Conference every week is, seems like it's going down to the final play. A lot of great teams, but tonight the Lions go down with 6.25 to go. You turn the ball over, it looks really bleak, but defense gets a stop. Luke Wingo leads an unbelievable 80-yard touchdown drive to pull it out, and then you get an interception on the final play of the game. A great win for UNA, 31-28, 7-0 overall, 4-0 in the GSC. Well, it was a great win. It was a great win because of the uh, way the players uh, won it at the end. Uh, you know, obviously, we didn't have our best game tonight. Uh, Luke didn't have his best game. He'd be the first to, to tell you that. And uh, it's funny, it's kind of like when Taylor Ponte has kicked a field goal against Valdosta. Taylor had not had a good game. He'd missed an extra point. First off, of course, he had the injury, and then you know, he missed a field goal and the extra point. And then he kicks a 54-yarder. Well, Luke was kind of the same way. We missed some throws. We uh, turned the ball over too much uh, in the first half. And, uh, you know, it just wasn't one of his better games. And then at the end of the game, he makes a phenomenal, uh, leads us on an unbelievable drive, no timeouts. Uh, First of all, he gets uh, about to get sacked, and he gets the ball to Lamonte Thompson on a big play, and Lamonte made a great catch, and then turned it into a long first down, and uh, then he throws a perfect ball to Corey Jones, who makes an unbelievable catch, and then he throws another perfect ball to Delvin Carpenter, who makes just a, a one-handed uh, spinning catch in the end zone. Uh, those players made plays, and you know that's the reason we won, because the players made the plays, and. Uh, you know, their players made some plays too. Uh, the, the, throw, the ball that their receiver caught when we had two guys hanging on him. Uh, but that's, you know, they give them credit too. Uh, they made some plays. So uh, I thought that uh, West Georgia played a great game. I thought we played uh, good on defense except for the big plays that we gave up. And uh, offensively, uh, you know, we were sporadic, but we had some good things. Lamonte ran good in the first half. We didn't get him running it too much in the second. and. Uh, uh, but in the end, what a fun, what unbelievable way to find a way to win the game. I know West Georgia thought they had it won, and uh, just we snapped, snatched it right away from them, which uh, with great plays. A season high four turnovers. Also, you're not giving a play over 37 yards all season. They hurt you with three long plays, but again, to be able to overcome all that and pull out such a great win, I mean, it's really got to be a big momentum builder for your team. Well, it does, because those are things that we got to do better, and. Uh, and you know, we'll be able to teach from it. It's so much more fun to teach when you win than when you lose. And uh, uh, you know, it's funny how West Georgia has had. Now they've done a great job. I don't take anything away from them, but they just like Delta last week. You know, turned the ball over, going in the end zone, threw an interception for a touchdown. Seems like they're they find ways to force turnovers, and or people make turnovers sometimes force, sometimes not, and uh, and then they take advantage of it. And uh, I thought that uh, they did a great job tonight, uh, uh, again, uh, getting those turnovers from us. And, uh, you know, that's very uncharacteristic of us. We'll take a quick time out and we'll have first half highlights when we come back. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TNT Fireworks, the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, and the Marriott of the Shoals Hotel and Spa, and by Little Steve's. TNT Fireworks is a proud sponsor of UNA Lions football and the Coach Bobby Wallace Show and wishes them good luck in their quest for a Division II National Championship. TNT Fireworks has fundraising opportunities available for your nonprofit organization or group. Earn high profits in a short period of time selling TNT's quality products. Call us today or visit us on the web at TNTfireworks.com. Remember, if it's not TNT, it's not fireworks. Roar Lions! Alabama's got the best in luxury hotels and golf, and the numbers to prove it. Number one out of all 333 Marriott's for golf. The Marriott Shoals Hotel and the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at the Shoals. Number two out of all Marriott's for spa. Marriott Shoals Hotel and Spa. Luxurious rooms with a view of the Tennessee River, plus two world-class golf courses ranked in the top 10 nationally. Call 1-800-949-4444 today to book your reservations at the Shoals. 
When you support Little Steve's Convenience Stores, you're supporting small American family-owned businesses. They, in turn, support our high schools, community, and the University of North Alabama. When you buy snacks, drinks, and other items from Little Steve's, you're saying, we believe in America. Little Steve's, six locations in Florence, Pine Street, Florence Boulevard, at the corner of Helton Drive and Cox Creek Parkway, Cloverdale Road, Petersville, Woodward Avenue and Muscle Shoals, and Jackson Highway in Sheffield. Lil Steve's, believe in America. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're going to have first half highlights for you in a moment, but West Georgia took the opening kickoff. They drove right down the field and scored, and that's the first time we've trailed in the first half this season. You're able to get another score later in the half and go into halftime 7-7, but they really came out and took it to us right from the start of the game. Well, defensively, we were playing pretty good. I told uh, uh, some people at halftime I felt better uh, the way we played in the first half this week than I did last week, uh, even though we stopped them last week because they turned it over. But... Uh, you know, I mean, they hit us with a big play on a short yardage situation for a long touchdown by their quarterback. Uh, and it was a kind of a, uh, I don't say, a, well, I mean, it was a formation that you normally don't see, a kind of an unbalanced, uh, you know, that we didn't slide too correctly. And, uh, of course, we hadn't seen it. And, uh, you know, again, that's a good job on their part. So we gave up that big play. But then besides that, we played really well on defense in the first half. Uh, of course, you can't say besides that. I mean, that counts. And, uh but then offensively, we drive it down there, and then we throw the ball behind the receiver for an interception, and, and you know, we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot. But they weren't stopping us either. And uh, so, you know, we were stopping them except giving up the big play. They weren't stopping us, so I felt pretty good about it. But then in the second half, it kind of continued, and, uh, you know, that's the way the game went at the end, just back and forth to see who's going to have the ball last and win the game. UNA in West Georgia, 7-7 at the half. Here come your first half highlights right now. UNA takes the field coming through the purple helmet. And we're set. Pontius approaches, kicks the football, hard line drive, hits at the 10, goes out of bounds. Beth Hensley to his left shoulder, hands off to Hensley. Hensley off right guard is just a struggle to bring down. Taylor will move Hensley to his right shoulder, slot to the left side, inside handoff, met in the backfield. Standing up, Seth Hensley. Seth Hensley to the left shoulder of the quarterback, tight end on the right side. Taylor straight back, fires to that tight end, little curl in pass. Hensley will move now to the right, to, to the left shoulder of the quarterback. Taylor breaks a tackle. The quarterback runs around right in, broke one tackle at the line of scrimmage. It looks like a mirror just put them in different uniforms. Yep. I'll start. A little bit of motion, but there goes the quarterback, Emmanuel Taylor. No flags, as there did appear to be motion. Emmanuel Taylor will burst up the middle and take it in for a touchdown. Standing inside the five at the north side of the field, Philbert Marshall will take the kickoff at the three-yard line. Goes to his left, cuts up in the middle of the field, and gets across the 20-yard line. Four down linemen. Two linebackers and a rover in there. Lamonte Thompson finds running room off the left side, and Lamonte and UNA quickly on the football. Three running backs are surround the quarterback. Quick pass out to Lamonte to Diamond Simmons. It outs to the left side, one to the near side. Wingo looks, has a receiver open. Here goes the quarterback around the right end. Luke Wingo will be met very hard. Two running backs to either side, one directly behind. And here goes Lamonte Thompson behind all that blocking around right end. Lamonte Thompson finds running room. Again, those three running backs, and it is the three tailbacks. There's play action. Ow, in the pass behind, trying to hit UNA's number 81 of Emmanuel Taylor slot. To the near side, here's the quarterback, will be tackled in the backfield by UNA's number seven, Chavez Sims. One of the receivers goes to the far side, inside handoff to 
Number 18, that's Appling playing at the tailback position. Moving in to punt the ball, Kett takes the snap, the left footer punts it high. Philbert Marshall will let the ball go. Well, wow. it goes out of bounds. UNA will have Lamonte Thompson take the handoff, tries to go around left end, is going to be tripped up in the backfield. Lamonte to the right shoulder will take the delayed handoff up the middle. Lamonte Thompson explodes across the 20-yard line. Here comes Lamonte in motion, takes the pitch. Lamonte around the right end, turns the ball up, and Lamonte Thompson will be dragged down at the 25-yard line. In trying to run it a little bit more for UNA. Lamonte Thompson to the right shoulder of Wingo, slot left, single receiver right, Delvon Carpenter on that right side, Wingo straight back under some pressure, now flips the ball out to Diamond Simmons, breaks the tackle at the 30, and Diamond horse Simmons collar. will be tackled at the 40-yard line, and you called it, it's a horse collar, the flags come out, and will stay in at the right shoulder of quarterback Wingo, takes the handoff up the middle, Diamond Simmons, empty backfield, two wideouts either way, Wingo straight back, fires over the middle, has, guess who, the slot receiver on the left side, Lee Mayhall. Lamonte Thompson to the left shoulder of quarterback Luke Wingo. Wingo with a snap, drops straight back, fires it over the middle, has a receiver down at the 17-yard line. Two wideouts either way for the Lions. The ball on the near hash mark. Wingo looks to the right side. Has a receiver! Oh. Gray Hall! Gray Hall will catch the ball in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, UNA Lions! What a laser to the right side as he uh, got to the front pylon. Touchdown at UNA. Phil, that was just a beautiful route and an even more beautiful throw. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Shoals Distributing and Budweiser. And by... Southern Fastening. Come here. Wow. Come here. So you can What's going on up there? Get me home, Chuck. This is all for you. Oh. Are you serious? Lieutenant <laughs> Chuck <laughs> now. There was hammer and nail, then air-powered pneumatics, followed by cordless tools, both gas and battery powered. Now, from Senco, the leader in the power fastening industry, there is Fusion Technology. Power fastening with no gas, no hose, no competition. Senco's Fusion Technology creates the first true cordless pneumatic nailers. Five distribution centers in the southeast as a Southern Fastening Systems representative nearby to serve you. Southern Fastening Systems and Senco Brands, a team that can be beat. We're back here at the Bobby Wallace Show. We're going to have second half highlights for you in just a moment. But Coach Wallace, you came out of the locker room at halftime. You are able to go right down the field and take the lead and get the momentum. They answered right back. And from there, it was just a seesaw battle that went right down to the last play of the game. Well, we did. We answered. We drove it and, and got the touchdown. They hit another big play on us, uh, which was sneaking uh, Appling, who's normally a kick returner, wide out. Some in the backfield, but he was in the backfield. And we, we play in a lot of quarters of uh, coverage because we knew we had to stop the run, which uh, that's a run. Uh, support, both safety support and the run. And uh, when they do that, the linebackers have to read the back. If he's releasing vertically up the field, they got to run with him. And we didn't do that. And we had worked on it all week. Uh, but you get caught up in the game, and you know that's a thing you go out at practice and you work on it, you work on it. But then you start having to make tackles and run sideline to sideline, and then bang, they hit you with it. So that's a good job on their part, game planning. I mean, it's something that we'd done many times when I was coaching, when Will was coaching for me. and. Uh, uh, you know, we just got to uh, learn from it and not let that happen again. But, uh, you know, it's uh, the big play again, got them back in the game. And, uh, you know, then that's when, you know, like I said, it just kind of going back and forth. How great was it to get uh, Luke Wingo a chance to get redemption? He was stripped of the ball. He was sacked six times in the game. But to get the ball back, get another chance and take us down and score 80 yards in about a minute 20. Well, just, a, I mean, it's just, I can't describe how unbelievable that drive was. Uh, the plays that were made by Luke, Lamonte, Corey Jones, uh, Delvin uh, Carpenter, just unbelievable. And, uh, you know, that's a will to win. And uh, offensive line protecting, uh, being sure we held them out and uh, gave Luke time to make those throws. And, 
it was just a you know Co Cody making the great calls in, in that situation. We had no timeouts. I mean, one play could have been disaster, and with that much pressure, we were able to execute and make it happen. So, uh, you know, give all the credit to the players and for a great effort. You don't want to miss these second half highlights as UNA pulls out a 31-28 win. Lehman Howington will kick the football off. He sends it toward Philbert Marshall. Philbert at the five-yard line will go toward the wide side of the field. Gets a, almost got the corner, but same formation except for a slot to the left side, inside handoff. Diamond Simmons finds a little gap and exploits it all the way up to the 35-yard line. Simmons to the left shoulder, Thompson to the right shoulder. Wingo straight back, fires it out, has Dre Hall open at the 42. Dre Hall cuts it back inside up the middle of the field across the Lion logo. And just did a great job running, picking up those yak yards. Same formation. Here's the fake to the running back. And Luke Wingo will just exploit a gaping hole right up the middle. In his own gut and took it up for 15. Wingo straight back. Looks to his right, floats the ball out, has Taj Campbell who makes an outstanding catch at the <laughs> four yard line, bumped out of bounds at the two yard line. Strong to the left side and here goes quarterback Wingo <laughs> over the left side. They will launch himself into the end zone. Touchdown UNA! Single receiver to the near side, tied in also to this near side. Appling in, play action. Quarterback uh -oh. finds Appling down the middle. He's wide open, got past the safeties right there, and Appling will quickly take it right down the middle of the field and score a touchdown as he was hit perfectly in stride. The other Hensley on the roster in front of him on the left side. Appling straight back, has a receiver intercepted. Yeah. Intercepted by UNA. Here comes the Lions across the 50 to the 45 and tackle right there in the inner with the interception. Floyd Jones, the six foot, 210 pound junior from Town Creek in Hubbard High School. First turnover by West Georgia today. Here's a play action inside and the and the flip around right in to UNA's number 80, Jarrett Smith. Diamond Simmons directly behind the quarterback, Luke Wingo. Inside fake, here goes the quarterback Wingo off the right side. Wingo will dive forward inside the 10 yard line. Quite at the 13, so a 23 yard field goal attempt. A good snap by Loveless. Good hold by May Hall. The kick is up, it is good. You Turns, play action. Taylor straight back, looks out to the left, has Shaq Hall open out here. Skips out of one tackle. Taylor with a snap, quarterback right up the middle, finds a gaping hole right there before he is brought down to the left side. Especially the corners. Especially, here goes Appling, off around left end, around Holy. a block out there. Hensley to the left shoulder of the quarterback. The quarterback faked it to Hensley and was almost tackled in the backfield. Emmanuel Taylor breaks tackle after tackle after tackle and gets into the end zone. Oh my, had him in the backfield. They've been so good tonight. They've only allowed a few big plays. Driving punt will get to Filbert at the 45, finds the seam, goes up into the, the territory of the Wolves, into the 25 yard line. Oh. Filbert Marshall changed the game right there from the 30, from the 43 yard line. To his left shoulder slot on the left side, single receiver right, play action, fires it out. Dre Hall makes the catch at the 20, makes the move, gets outside and Dre Hall will drag a wolf down inside the 10 yard line. Slot to the right side. Inside hand off, Lamonte Thompson explodes, touchdown! Right up the middle, Lamonte Thompson, and a flag comes in late as Lamonte, five yards into the end zone, was hit by a wolf, so that'll be a penalty. Taylor fakes the reverse to Appling, <laughs> fires the ball deep, throws a ball up, jump ball down at the 10-yard line, and it's gonna be taken there by Shaq Hall, the big receiver. Here's the quarterback draw. And diving into the end zone is Emmanuel Taylor. The offense is on the field. On the shoulder of Wingo here. Double slots. Lamonte Thompson to the right shoulder of Wingo. Here comes the pass rush. Wingo fires it down. Has Delvon Carpenter at the 35-yard line. 
Wingo straight back under some pressure. Now fires it out. Has Lamonte Thompson open in the middle of the field. Lamonte gets in two. Oh. West Georgia territory. Lamonte Thompson. Third down 10. This is four down territory. A minute two remaining in the football game. Wingo straight back. Looks down the right sideline. Has Corey Jones. He makes a diving catch on the football. Corey Jones caught the football. Here he is, the junior, makes the big play for the Lions. UNA now from the nine, has a man open. Oh! Delvon Carpenter caught the football, one-handed oh. catch. One-handed catch on the far side of the football field. What a play, what a play. Oh Whoa. my goodness, what a play by Delvon Carpenter. Launch one here. Double slots. Taylor straight back. Here comes Cardi. pressure. Throws the football up near the goal line. Pick. Intercepted. Intercepted. Intercepted by UNA. It's zeros on the clock. It doesn't matter. Coming up is Darvell Harris with the football. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Huge win for the UNA Lions, Phil. Oh, my goodness. They got to 30. How do these guys <laughs> do it every week? The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by Here's the game plan at the all-new University Toyota. No trick plays, no razzle-dazzle. Just straight-up savings on hundreds of new Toyotas. Like new Corollas from $159 a month. New Camrys, $189 a month. Go long with no payments until next year. Or try one before you buy one with Toyota Rent-A-Car. Score a great deal during the game plan for savings event at the all-new University Toyota. Formerly Jim Bishop Toyota. New name, same familiar faces. Hi, I'm Bobby Wallace, and I would like to invite you to shop with my friends at Hometown Market, located in the Seven Point Shopping Center in Florence. Hometown Market can supply all your grocery needs, with a large selection of groceries, fresh fruits, and vegetables at their everyday low prices. Their meat market offers a wide variety of fresh meats cut daily by the qualified meat cutters. Look for the other Hometown Market locations in Athens, Decatur, Hartzell, and Aniana. Hometown Market, 1421 North Wood Avenue in the Seven Point Shopping Center. TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our houses, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time, so it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, to set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. We're here with our Montague's Frostbite player of the game, Philbert Marshall. And Philbert, before we give them a rundown on your stats, every week is very exciting in the Gulf South Conference and your team got down, you were up, you are down, you are up. You are able to get out of this with a 31-28 to 28 win. It had to be really exciting for you. Yeah, it was really exciting. It feels great to be 7-0. Uh, we do it for the fans. I, I love my team. Uh, we come out every week. It's, the uh, GSC is like the SEC. It's going to be a hard game every week. So we just come out ready to play. Coach, he coaches up every week and we come out and try to get the win every week. You had seven tackles, had a pass breakup, had a couple of kickoff returns, but really the key, one of the key moments in the game for the Lions, you'd gone down in the fourth quarter, you got a long kickoff return, set up a short 25-yard touchdown drive for UNA. Yeah, I knew, I wanted to give our offense some momentum going there. I knew if I would give them uh, a big return that they was gonna punch in and score, and that's what they did. Congratulations, our Montague Frostbite player of the game, Philbert Marshall. The Bobby Wallace Show is brought to you by TVA Community Credit Union and by Montague's and Frostbite. 
TVA Community Credit Union is proudly open to the entire community, offering unequaled service and convenience. They are the TVA Community Credit Union, and they make you feel like you're part of the community, part of the family. Customer service is great. I mean, they're, they're great with my wife and I and my daughter. We bought all of our house sets, all of our cars, everything through them. With a little one running around, I don't have a lot of time. So it's real simple just to pull my mobile up and go straight to the site and check my account. I recommend them all the time, to be honest with you. For one, I mean, their rates are great. Try to work with you to get you the lowest rates, to get you where you need to be, set you up for the future. Don't feel like I'm a number at all. I feel like I'm a part of the family. From mobile banking to the latest platform in online banking, we make managing your financing fast and easy. Our members are the owners of our credit union, so there are no high-priced stockholders to pay, allowing us to give our members totally free accounts and amazing loan rates. TVA Community Credit Union, everybody's credit union. Football and food go together. Montague's menu offers a variety of game day edibles like the cheese steak, specialty burgers, the specialty Reuben, and even Polish dogs. For the health conscious, there's a salad menu too. Montague's, corner of Pine and Chisholm in Florence. Frostbite Frozen Treats, just blocks from the stadium, offers a unique experience. Next to Montague's, at the corner of Pine and Chisholm, it's customizable frozen yogurt. When the cup is full, the toppings are close by, and then it's just a matter of weighing and paying. Frostbite, next to Montague's and on Facebook. Facebook. Welcome back to the Bobby Wallace Show. The UNA Lions 7-0 overall, 4-0 in the Gulf South Conference, but certainly no time to rest. On the road next week at Cleveland, Mississippi against a really tough Delta State team. They're a one-loss team, but you're going to have to switch gears again because their team is going to throw it all over the place after facing a really good running team this week. Well, we will, and uh, you know we haven't lost a regular season game since we played them last year in, uh, I assume, September. It was early in the year, first conference game, and uh, so, I mean, you know, that's a great job. I think we won 15 out of the last 16 games. But at the same time, this game, and before the season ever started, you know, everybody, you know, we were voted number one, they were voted number two. You know, everybody thought it could come down to this showdown in Delta uh, between uh, the two teams, and that, that's what's happened. So, uh, you know, if we can go in there and, and find a way to win, then uh, you'll know, have a two-game lead in the conference race with two games to go. Everybody's vying for playoff berths. So now it's getting to that point in time. West Georgia could very easily finish up with the two losses. Valdosta could finish up with two losses. Uh, so, you know, it's, how many teams can go? And, that, and that's what, you know, again, we're fighting for cha championship, fighting for the playoffs, and to reach all the goals that we want. Last season, Todd Knight's first season as head coach. So it might have been a little mysteries what they were going to do, but you, you were able to see it last year and see it a lot this year and be more familiar. Yeah, we played them early last year, and, and I think that that will give us a uh, a, a great, uh, a better preparation week than we had last week. And, and we, we, we didn't make some good plays last week, but they're better. They're better than they were last year, so we got, we got our hands full. UNA Lions on the road in Cleveland, Mississippi next Saturday, 6 o'clock kick. Hope to see you there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for watching The Bobby Wallace Show. Please join us again next Sunday at 6.30.